Hey Joe, as a director, uh, what movie are you most looking forward to seeing this year? Karate Chicken. When your city's in trouble, don't call me. Call Karate Chicken. Copy that, Dispatch. Something weird going on. <laughs> in a city full of foul play. I don't know if this is a boy or a chicken, but I know it knows karate. One bird will defy all expectations. Chicken shop! On Karate Chicken. Sean Dixon is Karate Chicken. You're about to break into this house. What are you doing? For you, little nugget. I'm no chicken tender. What time is it? It's chicken chop time. Ah! He just wanted a chicken nugget. I'm no nugget. <laughs> Justice is served. Ah, pretty sure he's cage free. Oh, yeah, I'm cage free. <laughs> I need to withdraw some yolk. Sir, this is one of Denny's. Uh, who are you? I am Karate Chicken. <laughs> Sir, did you just lay an egg? Oh, uh. uh uh, I have trouble coming out of my shell. Sir, this is a bank. We we'll have to ask you to leave. Karate chicken, coming soon. We're not just telling stories. We're watching karate chicken. Hey kids, this is not a real fire alarm. Don't do this at home. The more you show. Bong bong bong. Darkman Studios. Mikey is a very bad kid. Every time he does something, he gets let off the hook. I don't know if y'all seen those videos, but he always get let off, let off the hook. Tell me what happened today. Like, what, what did Kato do? He pulled the stinking fire alarm at school. Can you believe it? Is that like a federal offense or something? That's pretty major. Hey guys, stay tuned to finally see Mikey finally go to jail. Your friend's under arrest for pulling the fire alarm. You should be worried about going to juvie. Court is in session. Now serving the Honorable Judge Connor. Order on the court. Mikey needs to stay in jail because this is a repeat offense. He has not learned his lesson, and I suggest that you prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law. Your Honor, uh, <coughs> my client, uh, he says that he didn't do it. I object to my defense attorney. Does he have any alibis? That's what I would like to know. It wasn't me. It was my brother Fredo. He's my evil twin brother and he always tries to set me up. The reason you are guilty is because we brought Chicken Alfredo for lunch today. And what do you come up with? Fredo the character. We actually did have Chicken Alfredo for lunch and it was delicious. Thank you so much for the order. Guilty. Boo! He's my evil respect. twin brother! Stop it! He's my Stop evil it. twin brother! Stop it! Sit down! In order to keep on telling stories and changing lives, I'm gonna have to send him to jail. See ya, Mikey! <laughs> Why are you so sad? <laughs> because Mikey went to jail! But I thought you wanted him to go to jail! I had to be the bad guy to teach him a lesson! Let me out! Hey guys, my name is Sean, and as you know, I'm Kato's friend. Um, there's people on the back are laughing at Kato because he got arrested. I made a GoFundMe page for Kato to get him out of jail. How much do you have so far? 15 cents out of 10,000. What's wrong with you people? You know Mikey ain't no nerd. But he sure is a jailbird. He is a bad, bad boy. And it likes to play with toys. And that's Mikey singing the blues. What? I've been treating you okay. Bounty!
to go find me. I'm in prison. And this is the first edition of Connor Explains Everything. Badly. A lot of people have no idea what to do when they're locked in jail, as you just saw. However, it's not that easy. See, right now, if you if you're so kind, right, you know, right now I can't open it. I can't open it. The key to summoning your strength is actually just And that is how you get out of prison easily. Welcome to the Doctor's Inn with Jim Carrey, sponsored by WebMD. Connor, are you sick? Yeah. All right. Why else would I be in a hospital bed? Do you know who your doctor is today? No, you don't get to pick your doctors. Hello, little whippersnapper. Feeling chilly? A little cold? Can you breathe out of the nostril? Yes, I can breathe out of my nostrils. Fantastic. Well, we should just do a series of tests to make sure that you're not, um, walking dead. We need way better health insurance for Darman actors. We don't need insurance here. It's all fine! Definitely should have just laid off the stimulant toast crunch. Okay, yeah. Uh, seems to be fine. Are you sure? It's fine. Maybe a little bit of bacteria there, a little popcorn crumbs, uh, uh, rice crispy treats. Definitely cinnamon toast crunch too. Uh, stay away from that. For some reason, I don't believe that. Bless the kid. The bleeding hearts of the world unite! Live! Live! Paging Dr. Carey. Okay, I'll be right back with your shots. And then, cataract surgery! The moral of the story is... Yeah. <coughs> running away from your problems always makes them worse. Alright, so you guys may be wondering, why are my hands behind my back? Well... Look. Da, da, da! I was put under arrest. It finally happened. Woo. Hey! Um, sure it is my first time arresting a minor, and I don't like doing it. So kids, don't get arrested. Don't do the crime. You'll do the time. We're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. You know what? What's going on with that chicken thing? Mr. Wilson? This is a surprise. He's gonna give us a pop quiz. I gotta find some way to get out of it. Did you hear what happened at Chesterfield High? Some punk pulled the fire alarm. They had to evacuate the whole school. I'm gonna pull the fire alarm. 